Hi, in this video I'm going to show you how to create a step chart. Now a step chart is very similar to a line chart, but the main difference is instead of having a uh, angular type of a, a slope either up or down or kind of a curve, it actually steps through up or going down. So, so the changes of a line are pretty much at right angles. You can see it steps here, goes up uh, a 90 degree angle, then it goes across and goes down, uh, goes down here it goes across and then goes up and these are 90 degree angles that it goes up either up or down so I'll show you how to create this this is that basically just creating a line chart and doing some uh, additional modification and you have to kind of set up your table correctly uh, in order to uh, create this effect so let's go ahead and start anew let's say for example uh, I start with some data let me see I'll just call this year and then I'll call this amount okay now the year let me go ahead and just type 2000 and then I'll go ahead and just click the fill handle and just kind of drag it down here. I'll go ahead and have it go to 2010. Right now, I just copied it down. But after I click the, the drop down here, I can get a menu here and I can go ahead and select fill series. And it'll just fill it out and increment it uh, by one here. And the amount, I'm just going to go ahead and put any amount. And I'm going to use a function to randomize the amount. I'll go ahead and type equals R A N D, rand, rand between. Let me go ahead and just click that to complete it. And I'll just have a ran random number between number 6 and 12. Close the parentheses. Press Control Enter, and it's going to copy that formula all the way down. If I just press Enter, it will just enter, execute the formula for that cell B2. But if I press Control Enter, it's going to execute that formula all the way down my range selection here. Now, I don't want that formula to keep changing because what happens is if I, anytime I execute another command, or if I press the F9 key to recalculate the, the spreadsheet, it's going to recalculate this random function. So let's say, for example, I go under the formulas tab and I go ahead and click calculate now. It's going to recalculate it and you'll see that it changes. So basically, I don't want it to do that. I want to keep those figures constant. So I'm going to go ahead and press Control C to copy it. And then I'll go ahead and use the paste values. I could have easily use another keyboard shortcut. Let me go ahead and Control Z to undo. We have that formula there. Instead of going into the Home tab and going under Paste and pasting the values here, I can easily have also pressed the Alt key, Alt E S. Whoops. Let me go ahead and select that Control C to copy Alt E S, and then select Values. So that just is another keyboard short, another way to go through pasting values. So I like to show different ways to do it. So we have the values here, the formula, that function is not there anymore. And what I want to do now is I want to select this range of cells and then basically duplicate it. Control C to copy, go down under here, Control V to paste. Now I'm having two sets of data of the same data and I want to sort it. So I'll go ahead and sort it. And you really don't need to sort it, but I like to sort it because you kind of get a nice, nicer visual view of what you're doing. So I'll go ahead and go under the sort here and go into custom sort and I want to sort by the year. So smallest to largest. So you see that it shows up twice. Year 2000 shows up twice. The numbers here show up twice. And after that, what I want to do is I want to kind of adjust this data down. So you, what you'll notice is we're only going to have one year 2000 and we're only going to have one uh, year 2010. So the first and last uh, values here is just going to be one, but these values are going to be duplicated. So, but in order to do this correctly to get my stepped fun my stepped uh, chart function to work, what I need to do is take this these values and just kind of move it down one. So I just press Control C to copy and just click the next cell down here. Press Control V to paste, and you'll notice now it's kind of pasted everything. We've got this extra column here. And what I'm going to do here is I'm going to delete uh, this cell. Right click and click delete. And then I'm going to go ahead and click uh, re delete the last one here. And then right click, press delete. Now I've got my data set up correctly because basically I only have want to have uh, one instance of the first year and having it with that value and one instance of the last year uh, with that value. So basically you can see that it kind of repeats here, it repeats here, it repeats here, and it's just kind of off, offset. Now with that in mind, what I can do now is create my chart. So right now we're going to insert our chart. What I like to do is like to insert it from scratch. I don't want to have it select anything from the table. So I'm just going to select outside of the table, just some empty cell, and go under insert, and go under the drop down here for the line chart, 
and select just the first one here. So it's a blank chart, and I'm going to have to need to add data to it. So I'm going to go ahead and click under. When Once this chart is entered, we have our chart tools contextual menu here, and I'm going to go under the design tab, click select data, and I'm going to add the amount here. So go ahead and click add, and then the series name, I'll just select that field header, and for the series value, I'm going to delete that and select the values from B2 to B21. Press enter, and you'll notice that I have my, it looks almost like a stepped chart, but it's not there yet. We're almost going to be there. Uh, what I need to do next is uh, select my years, have my year labels down here. Right now it's defaulted to uh, numbers, but I'm going to go ahead and select the years. Go ahead and click Edit, and for the axis label range, so these are the labels right now. It's given it these default labels, 1 to 20. I want to have the labels here where it says year 2000 to 2010. So I'll go ahead and select that, click OK, and now you notice that I'll go ahead and click OK here too. You notice that it kind of repeats it. And the way that it does that right now is the Excel application is thinking that these are uh, text labels. We want to have it seen as date labels. Um, if you if we had dates in here like uh, 1, 1, 2001, it might catch that automatically and it won't repeat these. But since it uh, thinks that these are category, the text labels, we need to change them to date labels. So we select the access here. We can go under the, the format here and go under format selection and it's going to give us our access options. And right now it's automatically selected and it's thinking it's text labels, but we want to have it changed to date labels. And once I click on that, it'll recognize that it's, it's a date and it's going to remove the repeating uh, date labels. So year 2001, you've noticed that it's disappeared now. And then we've also got our nice little steps here, our little 90 degree angles. So now we have our step chart, and what we can do is just format it to make it look a little bit nicer. So we can go up to, it's uh, selected here, we have our chart tools, uh, contextual menu available, we'll, and we'll go ahead and go under design tab, go ahead and click one of these uh, predefined styles, maybe I could just click this one, maybe it looks a little bit uh, flashy here. And that didn't seem to do anything, let's go ahead and go under the uh, chart styles here. And, See, let me, I've selected that. Go ahead and select the colors here. Select that color. Maybe I'll select this color, yeah. So there's different options that we can choose uh, under the chart styles group. If you didn't like this, you can go ahead and just uh, select something else and then go ahead and adjust the, the color. But basically that's just formatting and display. What we wanted to get out of this particular video is how do we create these uh, steps. And that's the way that you do it. You just have to uh, set up your table correctly first and then adjust the access labels here. And after that, just do some formatting to make it look nicer. So there's how you create a step chart. I hope you like it. Thanks for watching.